Hi guys, this is Rachel from Studio Us with another at-home drawing lesson. Today we're going to be using markers to color in this adorable cardinal that we're drawing. So go ahead and grab your supplies and we'll get started. To kick things off, you'll need a blank piece of paper as well as a drawing pencil, a Sharpie marker, and a large pink eraser. So we're going to start with the main wing or body of the cardinal. So I'm going to visualize kind of where the center of my paper is. And up in the upper left hand side, I'm going to start marking out the top of my bird's body. Working in toward the middle, mark out my top, bottom, and sides. And I also want to make sure I get in the point of that body shape down at the bottom. So once I've got my top, bottom, and sides, I'm going to dot out my edges, make sure everything's looking good, and then draw it in. Alright, next we're going to mark out the head. So I'm careful here to look how far back on the body it is, and how much of the head is inside versus outside. So we've only got maybe a third of that head inside the body and most of the head outside of the body. So mark out your top, bottom, and sides and sketch it in. After that we're going to erase the two lines connecting the head to the body so that it's one solid object. Next, we're adding in our wing. So I look at where the head connects to the body and just a little bit lower than that is where we want our wing to start. We've also got the bottom of our wing crossing over the body just above where the bottom point on that body is. And coming out a little bit to form the tip of the wing. So I'm gonna dot all that out and draw it in. Alright, my favorite part of this bird, we're going to give him a mohawk. So it comes off the front of the face, makes a nice little point, and then curves around. Sometimes I wish I could have a red mohawk. Maybe someday. And we'll clear out the line, connecting the mohawk to the head. We're going to erase the line where the body goes through the wing. And we're going to erase a little gap so that the wing connects down to the body. Next we're adding in our tail feather, so that's coming right out of the bottom of our bird's body. And it kind of comes down and the tip points out to the right a little bit, so it's not a perfect curve. It's a little bit out to the side. Now we can see it looping through the body, but I know we're going to erase that part, so we're just going to not do that. Next we'll add in the next tail feather. And this one points out a little bit to the left, so they kind of angle out a little bit on either side, depending on what side of the tail feather we're drawing. And finally, one more bump to finish out our tail. Alright, we're going to add in the face. We don't have to erase the parts in the tail. If you draw in those bits, go ahead and erase them. We're going to get a little curve coming from where the mohawk connects to the body all the way down to where the head connects to the body. Two little bumps for the eye and the cheek. And there we go, we got a face. In that top bump, we're gonna draw a circle to make our eye, it goes all the way to the edge of the bump. And then starting at the top on the edge of the face, we're gonna draw in our beak. I like to do the top part first and then add in the bottom. We can get our toes. So these are just long little ovals. Notice that one little oval is outside of the body and then we've got two inside and then a set of three for the other foot and a little shine in the eye. Next, we're gonna add in our branch. This kind of curves around along the wing and goes out to either side of our paper. And this one kind of curves down, comes back up. 
we're going to erase out the lines where the stick crosses over the wing so that it looks like the stick is in front. We're also going to erase out the lines going through the beak. That way the beak is in front of the rest of the face. Finally, we've got some little details on our bird. So we've got U shapes. I'm going to start with the one closest to the body first and then work my way out. And notice they kind of overlap. After that, from the bottom of each U, we're going to do a little line down and it goes underneath our branch, not through it. Alright, we've got a nice wavy background line, so I'm just going to kind of dot that in. And then draw in our line. We've got a nice wave and then a little one on the other side. got some nice puffy clouds, so I'm going to mark out about how far out they go and where I see them starting and ending. And then just get these nice kind of semi-circles to make our clouds really puffy looking, so it looks like a nice sunny day. The bottom parts of the clouds are a little flatter, and the tops can be a little more rounded and puffy. Looks like we've got our drawing all done, so you can go ahead and grab your Sharpie marker and carefully trace over all of your pencil lines. Careful not to go over anything we erased. And finishing up our Sharpie lines, you can grab your eraser, clear off all of the pencil lines underneath your Sharpie, and then we'll get started with coloring. So we're going to start with a light blue, carefully outline all of our edges anywhere the sky is touching a Sharpie line, and then fill it in. Once we're all done with the blue, you can grab a yellow marker and we're going to outline just those brightest yellow highlights on the tops of our hills so it looks like the sun is bouncing off of them. 
Then we'll go in with a bright green. Careful not to go over our yellow. We'll outline anywhere the green is touching the Sharpie line and then fill it in. Once we're all done with our green, we can grab a gray and we're going to use this for the clouds. Notice that there's just a little white edge on the top parts of the clouds, so we're going to mark those out and fill the rest of the clouds in with gray. So we just want the littlest sliver of a white highlight up on the tops. Then we've got a lighter gray and we'll go back in and get that dark gray shadow later once the gray has dried up a little bit. I'm going to use a light tan color and fill in the stick for our bird to sit on. And we'll go in with a coral pink. You can also use just a regular pink. And we're going to look carefully for any little light spots. So there's one on the top of the beak, on the top of the head, on the wing, and on the chest. After that, we're going in with our red and filling in all the rest of the red parts on the bird. All right, our bird's looking good so far. We're gonna take our gray and going over what we already colored in, we can add a second layer that's gonna build up and make it darker just along the bottom to create that shadow. We'll grab a yellow and color in the toes on our bird. And I noticed that we didn't get the red on the beak or on the eye, so we'll go ahead and get those real quick. Take a dark brown, get the bottom shadow. So we're going to make a nice thin line along the bottom of our branch to make a shadow. Take an orange, get little shadows on the bottoms of the toes. And I'm gonna take a red brown or a mahogany. And I'm looking for any shadows on the red parts of the bird. So anywhere where it's a little darker, we can mark out our shadow and fill those in. These are mostly on the bottom half, so look for them on the tail and on the wing, and a little bit on the bottom of his belly. Alright, all that's left to do, finish up the shadows on the beak and the eye. 
and we can go in with our Sharpie marker and color in the black part on the face. Once you've got that all set, that will be the end of our bird. You guys did a great job. Thanks for following along and we'll see you for the next one.